A guten Erev Shabbos, a guten Erev Pesach, busy day, crazy day, checking the Chametz, tours all week, back next week, planning, heading to Yerushalayim today, Mir Hashem, for the Pesach Seder, hopefully we'll have a carbon Pesach when I get there, and Mir Hashem, Mashiach should be here, and do I have a special idea, a machshava, it's been mulling and building and building this whole week long, but first I want to thank David and Sarah Weintraub for sponsoring this week's email and video um, in memory of his, um, Sarah Weintraub's mother, Hannah Unger, who passed away the last year, Shabbos Hagadol was her yard site, and um, of course, in honor, in honor of two simchas that they're celebrating, their daughter, the daughter of their son Naftali, um, Aviva, their daughter of their son Ellie, got engaged last night, um, Rivka, to the uh, Septimus and Borenstein families. Uh, um, and uh, Baruch Hashem, they should only see simchas, nachas, brachas, and all wonderful things. And let us get to the Seder. But you can sponsor these also, so send me an email, send me a message, sign up for my weekly email, and listen to the song that I'm posted on the stash by Melech Rachman Rachem Aleinu, a Tovayvumetiv, beautiful song. And you should sing it by your Pesach Seder, because that's what it's all about. The whole Pesach is about Melech Rachman, understanding the wonderful, merciful king that Hashem is. And Tonight, we're going to go out of Mitzrayim, each and every one of us. And this is really when it all starts over here. When when, when the Beis HaMikdash is being, just before the Beis HaMikdash is destroyed, Hashem tells Yirmiyahu HaNavi, Zacharti Lach Chesed Neuraich. I remember the kindness of your youth. Leich Teich Acharavai Bahamid, Bar, that you went after me into the wilderness. And it's an incredible idea if you think about it. It's a Chesed that we did for Hashem, that he remembers even in the worst moments. Meaning, Mitzrayim, Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim tonight, is not just about what Hashem did for us. And this is the incredible idea. It's what we did for Hashem. In fact, that's even more so. I saw this idea from the Bnei Yisachar. It blew me away, and it's a transformative idea that I just wanted to keep in, in, inside of this. I actually brought this uh, Haggadah that really, it's called Bnei B'chari Yisrael. Um, beautiful Agada by somebody in Beit Shemesh. Um, I just opened it up and this idea jumped out of this. B'nai Yisachar jumped out of it, at it. Why do we go down to Mitzrayim? Why does all of this happen? You know, and Hashem tells Avram Avinu by the Brisbane of Israel, Hashem, Avram says, how will we know that we will inherit the land? Um, that my children will inherit the land. Hashem says he will go into Gullahs for 400 years and they'll be persecuted and everything like that. And then they're going to go out with great wealth, right? And Avram Avinu believed by Yahweh Avram, right? By Yachshavo And it was considered for him for a tzedakah. It was a just thing. It was a charity. It was, a, it was an incredible thing that it was righteousness. Right, that Avram Avinu believed it, and and the, but who, the question is, who is the low? Normally, we would read it Vayechshavo Lo Lidstaka, that it was considered Avram. Listen, he believed, he had faith in Hashem. But the question really is, you know, I mean, Hashem tells you you're going to get something, you're going to get something. Why is that? You know, Hashem Himself who has done so much. I mean, Avram sacrificed his life for Hashem. Why is that considered that it's for Avram that he, you know, righteousness that he believes Hashem, his children are going to get the land of Israel. Um, or that he believes that the kill children will, will suffer and this and that. Is that what it is? The Bnei Sesla says something incredible. Vayechshavo loyled staka is Hashem. It was considered like we did charity. Hashem, you gave some tzedakah to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. <laughs> It's unbelievable. We gave tzedakah to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Our faith is the tzedakah for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Hashem lives off of our faith, exists, is shined in the world through our faith, through our emuna in it. We're giving Hashem tzedakah. It's an incredible idea if you think about it. The, the Reb Levi Yitzchak of Berdichev says something so powerful. The Kushat Salevi, he says something so powerful. He says that we say on Pesach, that we, the, the, the Pasa keeps saying, we're going to eat the carbon Pesach You should do this work. Carbon Pesach. What is this work? The the Kedusha Slavi says over here. He said he heard from this from the Magid of Mezrich, right? And it says in the pasuk, Me'ais Hashem Hoisa Zois 
We're going to say this in Halal again, the entire Yom Tov. And whenever you say these words, I want you to think about it. He said, there's a word called Ze, and there's a word called Zeus. Ze is male. Zeus is female. Right? A male is the giver. He's the one that's supposed to go ahead and give. The Zeus is the Nekeva, right? That's the receiver. The one that completes the male by taking it. That gives the source for the man to give it. So the Iker Avoda, normally, it's interesting, is Hashem Hoisa Zeus, that Hashem is a Zeus. Hashem becomes the Nekeva. Hashem becomes the receiver, right? <coughs> <coughs> Hashem created a way that we can give and that we're going to connect to Him that I have something that Hashem wants from me. Unbelievable. Hashem is a ko right? He doesn't need anything. But He's created something that we can become. It's recorded, Halayla Hazeh, Kulomata. Halayla Hazeh, we keep saying Zeh, that we are the Zeh. We're doing the Zeh. Hashem is the Zeus, right? Hashem is the receiver. And when we go ahead, it's the chesed that we're doing for Hashem. It's, uh, if you take that to a step further, you, you, you see an incredible thing. The Russia asks, Ma ha'avoida hazois lachem? This is the question of the Russia. He goes, first of all, he goes, what is the avoida of zois? We can, I have something to give to Hashem. Hashem has chaim kanif, he has this gadol, he has that. He has teriyas from people, who am I? I've got a smartphone, I've got who... I have something to give Hashem. I would be, you know, in Mitzrayim. Hey, what's it? What is this? Do you think you know? Listen, Hashem is a God, and He commands you, and you do things. And it's not, but it's not like He's giving something. You have to, you have to be obedient, right? He's a Russia. He's missing the point. The, the Russia is that you have something. And you don't want to give it to somebody that needs it. You don't want to give it to the biggest person, the greatest the, the, the being that is giving you everything. You don't want to give it back. That's a Russia, right? Ma vida zeis. You think that's what the Russia says? And you know what we say back then? Bavur ze asa Hashem li. Hashem did it for me. Right? Yeah, Hashem did this. This I gave me something that I can do. You know what li is? Li is an incredible thing as well. Li, we're told, is hariat mikudeshes li. Betabazu. So we become wed to our Kaddish Baruch Hu. When we take a ring, a chasen puts a ring on the kala. Right? So he's surrounding the kala. They're becoming one. In fact, lamed is all the way up there. It's the highest letter, right? Yud is the smallest letter. Li is binding those things together in a ring, right? Hashem is Li, me bringing Hashem down. Hashem says, "What do you know? What, you know what Li is? It's it's Li Reish, right? Yisrael is Li Reish. We become the head, the crown of Hashem. The letters Yisrael and Li Reish. That is what Yisrael is, and that I we have something to give to Hashem." And Pesach said, that's what we, and it's it's more than that. Because he says, Maha Avoida has this. I can get, Rosh goes, okay, I can buy that. The Jewish people in general, Hashem needs a nation, and the Jewish people are going to show him as a nation. He's saying, no, 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 no. He says, Maha Avoida says, Lachem, all of you, right? We say, but where is that Hashem? Li, personally. It's not even Klal Yisrael. It's every single Jewish person that left Mitzrayim. Hashem came and showed every person that he personally has something to go ahead and to take out and to bring and to give to Hashem and that he's taking us all out. Right? The, the carbon Pesach, right? The Maram Chalvaz says we, we have to make the only, when we have to, why do we have to experience we left Mitzrayim? Because otherwise you can't make a blessing on, an, on a miracle that happened. Right? A miracle has to happen to me to make a blessing on that blessing. And I saw Rishonim asking that. That's not true. A, a national miracle of Klai Yisrael, we all bless. Hanukkah, we all bless, because it's a national miracle. Right? What pshat? You know what the pshat is? Unbelievable. Because Yitzias Mitzrayim is not a national miracle. It's a personal miracle. Every single day. We don't bring a carbon zebar on the carbon Pesach. You know what we're bringing? It's a personal, every single person, every single family is bringing a carbon Pesach. And the Maram Chalab says, if it's a personal miracle, then how can you make a blessing unless you feel that it happened to you? Because carbon Pesach is not an, it's every Jew. Every single Jew, Hashem says, you have something that you can give. You have something that can make it. Chasidim say from the Baal Shem Tov, unbelievable. Eliyahu and Mashiach is going to come. Eliyahu and come. Mirza Hashem, we're going to open the door. He'll be there tonight. And Eliyahu and is going to say, how did you guys last for 3,000, 2,000 years in Gaulus? And the Baal Shem Tov used to say, the Jews are going to answer him. He said, you know, every single davening after Shachris, 
we would get up, sit down, make a lachayim. <laughs> That's the most understood. That's how we lasted. What do you mean? I mean, you see the old people, they have this minute, they still do it today in the shtibu, right? He says, you know what the pshat is? The, pshat, the maggot says, the pshat and the bal shem tev is unbelievable. He goes, it's not the l'chaim. It's but before they make the l'chaim, they say, shahakel niya bidvare. That everything Hashem does, is with his word, everything happens is from Hashem. The bad, the good, whatever is going to go on today, shahakel niya bidvare, l'chaim. That's us doing the chesed for Hashem. That's us being megala, him in this world. That's us revealing the godliness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's Leila Zeder. That's what we tell the Russia. That is the kindness. And that is Avram Avinu. The Leila Zeder, we're told that each one of the three holidays corresponds to one of the forefathers. Avram Avinu is chesed, and that's Pesach. Pesach is the chesed neuraich. So, Emir <coughs> Hashem. We should be zeichet to go out. We should have an incredible, incredible seder. We should feel that experience. We should open the door for Eliyahu Anavi, and we should see Moshiach ben David. Have an incredible Pesach. We should see you here. L'shana haba bi Yerushalayim. Emir Hashem with the Geula Hashlema. Bye.